Hmm, no. Oh, well, oh, good. Glad you're here. Uh, we are as well. Right. Back on the Vivaro, the 1.9 TDCI, although it's a 2 litre. But we've done the 2, two litre joke, so we won't do that again. Um, story so far, we had all the, the dashboard was lit up like a Christmas tree. You had the spanner light in the car symbol, we had the engine management light, and we had the, coil, the glow plug light on all the time. So, then we changed solenoid valve. Um, Turbo boost sensor and the MAF sensor. All the lights are out, we're good. All that remains now is the boost leak, which is the uh, broken pipe. Ordered a new one, not arrived. Um, and they need it for next weekend, so we've got to fix it, got to fix it now. So, oh, by the way, I'm using B camera, so there might be a bit of wind noise and um, <laughs> just beans last night. No, no, the ambient uh, wind blowing past. So sorry about that, can't do anything about it. It's a different microphone system on this camera, but it's smaller so we can get in places. Right, so, we, now we didn't get the actuator either, so, because my fear was that the actuator, it's just too sloppy. So what I'm going to do is fit a little return spring around there and try and attach it somewhere over here. So that might just hold that shut, and then with the the pipe, put the fit the pipe the boost pipe back on. Then hopefully fix something across the top of it to hold it down, stop it blowing up. And we'll do the actuator first. Right, califugging at its finest. Okay, that's that bit. Just pop that down there for now. Well, that's a rubbing tussle. You need to get that this pipe here on top of that servo down there. So now, theoretically, that should just pop down clip in and then we need to fasten it down somehow just need to get it level first but it's a bit of a tussle with all this little lot so I'll come back to that oh goody it's just started raining right. Right, okay then, so we've got this in place, right, like so, and I have to califudge it, back it there, across the top, intended to bolt it to that bracket there, but no, couldn't get my fingers in, so I had to loop it around instead, and there we are. That'll have to do it. Right, let's put it all back together. So that goes up there, that goes down there. 
goes on there. And then we can put this back. Okay. Bracket goes to a nut there and another one just out of sight there. And the front ones obviously go there and there. Right. The inlet pipe that's on there. There's one or two things that have clipped onto the bracket as well, we'll come back to that. Right, I'll get those nuts on. Both ten mil. And two tight. Right, that's them. That you a pair of coconuts. Bitch goes on there. There's a plug here, goes in that hole there. So that's okay. Over this side, the boost sensor goes on there. Uh, now we need the top on. Now we've got it. Never had one that tough before. Right, tight, tight, wire on, that's on. There's a tight, that's on, that's on.
better. Right, um, singularly unfunny, but we're back together. This remains is the test drive and the oil change. Yeah, so let's go. Magnificence of the, of the lights. Okay. Well, it starts. We're on track two. Acid test coming up. Well, it's not making any noise. Over 3,000 now. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, and it's going over 3,000, not giving a warning light. No warning lights, so it goes over 3,000. No warning lights, revving over 3,000. Jobs are good. Alright, so oil change next. Filter and jump up. Filter. Sump plugs are 24. And the filter, don't know yet. Of course, we're not going to put another washer on. This is trouble. Yeah. Uh, hmm. well, that's a fail. Can't get the uh, oil filter off. It's only a plastic cover. It's a bit like a diffusion. We'll try the spanner now, it's just it's a good big plastic end, but now it's starting to collapse, so you just can't rev it off. We need to try a different kind of oil filter. Uh, anyway, uh, thing is, boost is good. We've fastened the pipe in to stop it blowing off, that's, that's good. We've got all the lights out, there's no warning lights. We did the math, uh, math sensor, boost sensor, and boost solenoid. And we've achieved, um, well it's going, it's, it's going very well, it's going better than it's done for a long while. But we failed with the oil change. Um, we're going to have to get another cover I think and then we can destroy this one to get it off. And we'll have a new one to put back on. Anyway, um, that's for later now because we haven't got one. Right, so, be nice to see you. Um, I hope everybody's well. Don't get lost or squashed and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>